we're on our way home with our new ambulance. What do you have to say about that? I wish it would have started. <laughs> it does not run. It does not run right now. So we had to winch it up onto the trailer, which sort of sucked, but we got her. She's back there. We're on our hour trek home. So it's a 2000 F450 in E. E450. Super duty. Yes. So we'll give you guys a tour once we get it back to the house. Okay. Here is the situation. Put some fuel in the ambulance. Still won't start. Probably struggling to get prime. So I have the shop door open way back there. And I pulled the ambulance as far up this gentle hill as I could and I will now get it rolling hopefully on my own and then coast it into the shop is my plan. We'll see if it works. Here it goes nothing. I'm out of breath, but that could not have worked better. Glided right on in. Here's an overview of the ambulance. Got it pulled into the shop, as you probably saw in the last clip of Jeff expertly coasting, coasting it in. So first thing I personally want to do is take off all these decals. So it might be a bit of a challenge. They seem very stuck on there, like they've been on for 20 years. So <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to try with the heat gun and see how that works. But anyways, I want to give you guys a quick little tour of the inside before we start ripping too much out. So we have a lot of external cabinets. This is the side door to enter and we got two cabinets here. This bottom one houses the batteries for the back of the um, vehicle. Yeah. And then this one, open it up is actually a pass-through one so you can access stuff from inside and outside which is kind of nice so I'm not sure what we're going to use any of these for yet but we have lots of possibilities there's two cabinets at the back there as well all right so this is going in got a nice big window with a little screen so we can get some airflow this is a quick overview of the inside still has all the original ambulance stuff in it some good little cabinets here's goose he likes it in here so far hey bud so we are planning on ripping out as much as we possibly can and replacing it and making it nice and cozy in here the plan is to do kind of our bed along the back and then kitcheny area here probably remove all these upper cabinets and everything um, we don't need a ton of storage since we're just using it for camping and not we're not living in it like some people do in these conversions um, so that's the kind of the plan over here um, it does have this awesome little pass through to get out into this other cabinet so I'm not sure how we're gonna use that but we want to use it somehow because it's kind of neat and we probably change out all these lights to LEDs. All the cabinets do have lights in the back, which we just found out. So those will be on the back wall. So we'll decide if we want to keep those or not. And yeah, so we want to get some of this stuff out of here so that we can have a better idea as to how we want to lay it all out. And then they, here's the back doors. So this will be just kind of off our bed so we can open these up and be able to look outside, which will be so nice. Not sure what we're doing with all of the lights. Hopefully taking some off so it doesn't look so ambulance-like. But we've got a lot of work ahead of ourselves. Some really cool big cabinets on the exterior, which we really 
was like a selling feature for us when it came to an ambulance over a van. So just to like store our camping stuff, you know, for cooking outside, we'll have all our cooking stuff in one, dog food and stuff in the other. If we wanted to have an ex outdoor shower, um, we thought this one would be perfect for that. Look at how tall it is. This is where that little pass through goes. <laughs> so you can open that up and get inside, which is kind of neat. So yeah, hope you guys follow along with us and see how we end up making her over. Hopefully we can get started, eh, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> First family cruise. Hey, Goose? Just around the yard. Just around the yard. We finally got it running. After quite a few hours of hunting for problems, it seems like it was in the fuel tank, so it's running. And Tiffany's getting her first driving experience. I'm so excited. And Goose seems to love that he can sit right between us and look out the window. Tiffany is working on this deck over here. It is going to be a lot of work getting the paint off, or not the paint, what am I trying to say? The glue after the deco comes off. It's gonna be a lot of work. Eventually, we would like to paint it a color other than white, but for now, we're just trying to get all the emergency decals off. And we're taking the uh, red lenses off all these flashing lights, and we're gonna paint them, spray paint them black just to make it legal to drive on the road as civilians. But look at this. Is that not the weirdest light bulb you've ever seen? It's crazy. Anyway, it's kind of like our day two. Starting to strip out the cabinets. 